Hey, what's up guys? Chase with iDub Hockey here in Santa Barbara, California at the Ice in Paradise rink. About to give you your view on the Bauer 2S Pro Skate. Now, start with the upgrades, go over carryover features, and I'll give you my thoughts along the way. The first one's in the boot with a new carbon curve. Different from the composite we've seen in Bauer skates for quite some time now that was very successful on its own. This is actually lighter as well as more thermoformable, so giving you a better wrap when you do go ahead and bake these highly suggest that you do. Continue with carbon. We've got the new Tuke LS5 carbon steel. It has a carbon nitrate coating that significantly improves your edge bite as well as your edge strength. So that bite is something I absolutely noticed my first time out. I would absolutely suggest going down at least one hollow, if not two, because of how much bite it really adds. The big benefit from that is that you get more glide going down in hollow without sacrificing the bite there. So best of both worlds. And then you add to the fact with that extra strength, it's not gonna chip or nick as quickly as it would in the past. So not having to sharpen your skates as often into the one-piece lacing system, uh, adjusted from what we've seen in the past. You still have the T-shape to the eyelets themselves, so grabbing onto the laces so they're not loosening, so you don't have to adjust them mid-game, but they wrap much better over the top of your foot, giving you better forefoot wrap for better feel. As you get up into the upper portion, it does straighten out, so that gives you better forward flex, which works with that tongue. The other upgrade here, the three additional eyelets that we see at the top, Players are you know, becoming more advanced in how they're lacing their skates. So this just gives you more options depending on what you want to do there. So onto the tongue, similar to what we've seen in the One X, this is the Reflex Pro Tongue. The base is a 52 ounce three piece and two tone fill, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like the looks of it, has a pro feel, injected thumbs down through the center. Uh, big upgrade is in the composite inserts that we see through the center. Uh, these are significantly more protective than a plastic or even the curve that we've seen Bauer use in their tongue. So better protection for the top of the foot, which is what players always are looking for. Also heat molds to the top of your foot. So when you go ahead and throw these in the oven, also getting a nice custom form fit to the top of the foot. But how this differs from the One X is that these yellow inserts in between the composite inserts actually act as a springboard. So it helps to bounce that tongue back. Trying to improve on your stride frequency. I do notice it when I was using it. Uh, I don't know how much it really improves the stride frequency, but I do like that sensation of it kicking back. So cool improvement there. And then lastly, similar to the One Piece lacing system, straightening out at the top. These inserts are much more flexible than what you would see in a traditional plastic. Into the liner, also taken over from that 1X line, their most commonly requested liner at the pro level, which is the LockFit Pro. So the top portion, the yellow in there, really helps to manage moisture, wicking it away, keeping your feet dry, but everyone sweats, so you really need some material at the bottom of the boot to really help lock your foot in. Anytime your foot's sliding, you're losing energy, so uh, really helping to lock you in there and also keep you as dry as possible. Now, the other big upgrade this year is in the new Speed Play 2.0. Biggest upgrade, I would say, is in the durability. I went ahead and re-engineered the materials, so addressed the issue that some players were having that it was cracking over time. The thing that I noticed the most about it was the extra foam on the top. My only gripe about that original version was that it was a little uncomfortable. I reverted back to a more traditional, softer, thicker footbed. But with this, this is a big improvement. Uh, and this is my go-to, even though this one's the brand new unbaked version. Now for the customization of the footbed as you go ahead and bake it, um, it really helps to center your weight down to the center of the skate. So instead of it being uneven or unbalanced, it really helps to drive all the power through the middle, which is right over the top of your holder. So you're getting much more efficient energy transfer. You get a custom arch support. And then of course you do have a custom heel cup there too. Upgraded with some extra grip this year, grip texture on the toes here. It's something you can feel when you slide your foot into the skate and kind of move your foot around a little bit. It really helps to lock it down there. 
Now for carryover technology, my favorite tendon guard on the market at the moment with their C-Flex tendon, super flexible, but for players that do like a little bit more, you know, traditional stiffness in their tendon guard, it does come with two different inserts that you can quickly pop into the back there, adjust it to your liking. Comfort edge wraps at the top, very necessary for a stiff, stiff boot like this. I like the matte finish, adds a real custom kind of cool look. Obviously still get the Tuke Edge holder, most popular in the NHL today with the quick release trigger system. Allows you to swap out your steel in case you break it in the middle of the game, keeping you on the ice as long as possible. And then we do have a full composite outsole as well as a midsole. It is vented, helps to put moisture out. So keeping you cool and dry during the game, helps to reduce drying time after the game. And the composite is very stiff, very responsive, of course, lightweight. So if you're looking for more info, click that shop now button, give us a thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the number one hockey gear review channel on YouTube. See you guys next time.